Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. This morning, it's all about positive young people who are truly making a difference right here in our community. So many times the negative things happening with today's young people is what gets the most attention. But today, our goal is to remind everyone that there are a lot of young people doing great things right here in Milwaukee. My next guest is Elizabeth Coggs, who serves as the Regional Vice President for West Care Wisconsin. And beside her is Devin Davis, who is the President of the Youth Action Council for West Care Wisconsin. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thank you both be for being here. Thank you. And uh, really, Elizabeth, uh, we want to start off talking more about West Care Wisconsin, what it is you do. Yes, we do a lot of different things. Um, we work with uh, young people. Um, and getting them job ready and job placement and a very active youth action council. Mm -hmm. We also um, are the only entity in the state that are, is making low income veterans homeowners out in the Woodlands area, AKA used to be the, the Meadows. Okay. And so we're working out there, we're doing community organizing, we're doing youth services, and we're also very strong in the Harambe neighborhood. Um, West Care Wisconsin came to Wisconsin four years ago on the leadership of Dr. James White, mm -hmm. who has gone on to glory. And in his work, um, he brought West Care in to save Harambe Ombudsman Program. So when you look at Harambe Ombudsman Program in West Care, Wisconsin, we have been in the Harambe area for 50 years now. Wow, yeah, the Reverend Dr. James White yes. uh, was formerly the president and CEO of the Johnson Institute Foundation. Yes. And there is quite a bit of history there yes, when you talk is. about West Care because the Harambe Community Mission and Vision actually came about following the aftermath of the riots that happened uh, following the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And with that eruption, uh, you spent 40 plus years rebuilding yes. uh, the Harambe community to be what it is today. So uh, it's good stuff that's happening there at West Care. So uh, what I wanted to mainly talk about is the fact that you have young people uh, like this young man who yeah. are uh, really making a difference in the community. Okay. How do you go about uh, bringing them into the organization? Well, um, Devin here came through um, West Care through the Employee Milwaukee program. Okay. And we've been working with him uh, and a variety of young people with job readiness, mentoring, and then placement. Uh, with a um, Make Milwaukee Work um, contract that we have with Employee Milwaukee. Okay. And so. he came in, and you see that dazzling smile. Yes, and yes. He has an awesome personality, <laughs> and he uh, has awesome, awesome um, skills, and he just grew into a leadership role becoming the president of the Youth Action Council. I love it. Now, Devin, this is your chance to tell us more about yourself. We hear how you kind of got involved, but uh, what is it uh, that you do at West Care and uh, the Youth Council? What do you guys do as a whole? Okay. Um, well, I'm the president, of course. You mm -hmm. mentioned that. What we try to do is bring about different initiatives that will help our youth that don't have anything to do on the weekends, on spring break, winter break, summer break, and we try to keep them out of trouble, keep them away from the violence, mm -hmm. because I was once like that too. I was always into trouble about two years ago when I was 16, and somehow I was able to make a turnaround. Miss Beth here, she helped <laughs> me a lot. She did a lot for me, and so did all the other employees at West Carroll, Wisconsin. They showed us that they cared about us. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to break free of the troubling shell I was trapped inside of. And I was able to help them do great things, and they helped me do great things. Yeah, and see, when you talk about once being in that shell, yes, uh, what would you say, I know you can't speak for other young people, but what would you say for those other kids who we see and hear about on a daily basis who are in trouble, stealing cars, whatever the case may be, what is it that you think is maybe missing that we as a community can do to help those kids as well? Well, what we're missing is leadership. Mm. And we're missing 
people who can relate to those problems mm -hmm. that they were going through. Like I said before, I was going through the same thing, but I saw things that made me change my ways, things I didn't want to see, I had no business in, and you know, it opened up a whole new chapter for me. It made me realize and it made me appreciate life more. It made me appreciate others around me more. So. I love that. Thank you for sharing it. And Elizabeth, there are several different programs that are set up to help meet the needs of the community yeah. with West Care Wisconsin. Yeah. You have what's called Face Forward, yeah. which is a juvenile justice reentry program mm -hmm. uh, and that's sponsored by the Labor Department, yes. uh, which is really important when you talk about young people who may have uh, made some mistakes right. and would like to have an opportunity to get on the right track. Right. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, uh, we all deserve another chance. Yes. And uh, I could think of being young and being old too, making some mistakes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is the truth. And, you gotta preach, girl. <laughs> and you just gotta. Uh, I always think of Donnie McKirk and we we we, we get back up. Yeah, we, and we get, back get back up. up. That's right. And uh, that's what it's all about. Um, and we're doing some amazing work. The young people are doing some amazing work. Um, and just working with them, you know, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're all working together to. Bring break down those silos to see how we can partner and have a, a greater impact in bringing a positive community in Milwaukee. Absolutely. A few of the other um, programs that you have is community organizing, neighborhood improvement project, family crisis prevention services, yes. and uh, something else that's really important when it comes to young people, expelled students projects. Yes, so, uh, it's just uh, there's a lot of yeah. spell students and I know mine is the devil's workshop and so um, we've worked in the past to do cognitive behavior therapy mm -hmm. change those behaviors modify them into what Mr. Devon is talking about here. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And uh, what's most important is uh, your latest initiative because uh, I saw this on the news and I thought, well, that is pretty amazing. Uh, you guys, including President Devon here, <laughs> uh, you have what's called the Love Up Lockdown Public Safety Violence Prevention Campaign. Yes, Tell us more about that and what you guys are doing within that campaign. Well, this campaign is based on, mostly based on the youth mm -hmm. and how easy it is for the youth to get to guns. And even if you put a gun up, even if you put it on safety, it's still not safe. Mm -hmm. What isn't lost can easily be found. And, you know, I try to remember that daily on a daily basis. And I try to, you know, uh, let others know that those who have guns, those who own guns, to try um, to lock your guns up and keep them away from the youngins and also to not use them when you have ill intentions or don't run to a gun. Mm -hmm. There's other ways to take your anger out. Amen to that. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, they say that seven children die each day in That's the right. U.S. from gunshot wounds. And just this last spring in Milwaukee, a mother was killed by her own two-year-old child. Mm -hmm. And logically, we all would think, well, a two-year-old wouldn't be able to pick up a gun and fire it. But mm -hmm. obviously, it is possible. So these are the type of scenarios that you're trying to uh, prevent. Yes, so you guys are going door to door. Yes, and you are not only handing out these gun locks, but you're kind of spreading this message. What are you saying to people when you knock on their door? Well, we try to get our first point across, which is to love up, lock it down, show some love for life. And to if you don't, even if you don't own a gun, if you know someone who owns a gun, mm -hmm. to keep it put up, keep it out of the way, keep it away from those with ill intentions on using them. Yeah, so even, like you could say, a young person who knows that their parents have a gun, they have a little conflict in the street, they go back and get their parents' gun, but if it's locked up and they don't have the key, then that's an incident that gets avoided. Yes, ma'am, yeah. and we even have um, our gun locks, comes with the key here. Mm -hmm. We can have our gun and you guys are giving these out inside. free. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, I love that. What is the response when you're knocking on doors and giving this message? Most most of the time, it's a positive response. Mm -hmm. um, we have had some complications with those who didn't want them. They felt some type of way about uh, the gun lock, 
but that just influenced us to go harder and That's right. push more. That's right. I and, love it. And this here program that, that we've introduced um, has really been a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing some surveying with it, and I just kind of stand on the sideline and, and look at them work. I have been a little amazed sometimes as the age group that is getting the gun a lot, yeah. and it's really made me say, wow. Yeah. You know, wow. And it, it comes from a grant uh, from the Greater Milwaukee Foundation. Mm -hmm. And it is a pilot, but it has been just an awesome footprint to put in the community. All right, I love it all, and that uh, particular grant is the Reasons for Hope MKE yes. Fund, and that came about after the uprising in the Sherman Park neighborhood this past summer. Just another example of all the great things that the Greater Milwaukee Foundation is doing. We have quickly run out of time, okay. but uh, I just want to really sure. thank you both thank for you. coming by, and I'm guessing you brought me that. And then we that. brought you something. <laughs> we brought you a care pack, a, yeah, West, yeah. a West yeah. Care Package. A West yeah. Care Package. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So yes. I get this gun lock. Yes, ma'am. And also a beautiful. A and we've been man. passing those bracelets out to for the little ones to put on their wrist that has that whole um, saying of love up, lock it down. That's it. Lock mm -hmm. your guns down yes, is what it says. Yes. Thank you both for Thank coming you. by. I really, Thank truly you. appreciate you both. And you keep up the good work. Yes, Thank indeed. You. All right. Elizabeth Coggs is the regional vice president of West Care, Wisconsin. And Devin Davis, he's the president of the Youth Action Council for West Care, Wisconsin. For more information on anything that we've discussed, you can log on to their website at westcare.com or call 414-372-4523. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues, Milwaukee. Have a great day.